presence of the Lord. You know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like, we, nobody knows how it feels. There's nobody on this earth that can say, I felt how it feels to be separate from God. Right. Because no, you didn't. You know how it feels to feel like, to feel separate from God, but not actually to be separate from God. Right. And there, I don't ever want to experience that. So to me, hell is zero. You know, like it's not about the fires and the flames and, you know, of course, like, Imagine being hurt a lot. People do that in real life. Yeah, you know? And we say, wow, that was painful, that was horrible, that's sad. But something that nobody has ever felt is to be separate from God. And I know how I feel when I'm not even talking to you. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, baby, hell is bottom tier. Like, ain't nothing worse than that. I, that's my drive to make me want to share the gospel with people. It's because I'm like, man, look at them living without realizing the good God that we have. And not feeling the good. Da, 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 da. And I'm, honestly, the love is still there. They just don't realize it. And they're not feeling it in its totality. Like, somebody can take care of you, and you're taking them for granted. And you're not even paying them no mind. And that's really what it is, because they're not actually separate. That's, wow. As long as we have... That's a really good analogy, bro. Because, like, there's... Like, le like, people in, like, the nursing home and stuff, when they have caregivers... Let's say, let, let's say somebody was born, and they always had a caregiver. Mm -hmm. There's always... Mm -hmm. And no matter how they acted or no matter how they were, you know, how they treated their caregiver, they were always taken care of. And no matter how many times they felt abandoned, quote unquote, they were always taken care of. So they would so they never truly they never truly knew what it meant to feel separate. You know? And I think that's really the, the concept of hell. It's not it's not just a fire and brimstone. It's not just the, oh my God, you were burnt for eternity. It's the fact that you will be separated from God. And like you said, nobody, only nobody has on ever, earth. ever felt, only one per there you go, only, only one, one person that has ever lived has, has felt what it means to be separate from God and that Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. and, you said, oh, and that's the only time, that is crazy. That's the only time that I remember crazy. him crying out. That like, is crazy. And, and think about how he, what he, what he said, you know, Lord, Lord, why have you forsaken me? And the fact that he questioned God knowing the answer already wow. just shows how painful it that was. Is how, easy, bad it was. how bad he it was. He has walked through every single step of life. Every single thing that we could ever experience, even to the point of being separated from God. Yeah. He has went through it all. I don't that know. is something crazy, I don't ever bro. Feel. I don't ever that want to feel crazy. separate from God. Just like, think about it makes me sad. Like, I don't know. Because even when I'm not right, I still look up and, and, look, and, I like, look up and I say to my head of God, I'll be like, I still talk to him because I know he's still there. Even when I'm doing things, like if I do something and I feel bad, I'm like, dang, that was kind of wrong. I look up at God. I think to God, I pray to him, to him you know, through my head or whatever because I know he's still there. Like, he's still there. He's still right now. You know what I mean? He's here. I ain't never been separate from him. Even before I realized that he was there, he was always there. When I was a baby, and then Nick, you fight for my life. He was there. When my mama had it, when I, I wasn't playing, he was there. He was like, all right, it's time for sour. You know what I mean? He's yeah. always been there. And I don't want to feel what it feels like to be separate from him. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Wow. Ooh, my chest hurt just thinking about it. Like, I don't think you understand because that's my love language. So you're separate. Oh, my God. That's my love language for God. Imagine calling out to God and just not there. And you can choose. That's, this is the thing. He gives us a choice. And it's all about it's all about this. You, will you choose to be separate from the world and set apart from the world, or will you choose to be separate and set apart from the world? And that's something that we have never, at nobody, even the most heathenistic person that has ever lived, devil they, worshiper, they, still, have they still don't know what it means to truly be separate. Not until they die. Because everybody has, I forgot the term, but everybody has this this general grace that the rain falls on the wicked and the and the just. You know what I'm saying? Not the rain, the um, the the favor of God. You know what I'm saying? It falls upon the the wicked and the just. Everybody has this general grace. You know, the, just the fact that we can breathe and live and, and and move and have our being is just that that's His grace. So you truly don't know what it means to be separate and no, to experience that's to that's experience scary. that 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 is more scary. That is more scary it's than hard, fire and brimstone. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. That's how I get it. Especially when you life. have truly, when especially when you have truly experienced the love of God. I don't know if you hear me all the time. I'll be like, if I ain't got nobody else, I got God. Like, He's always been there. That is my father. 
especially so like my daddy died when I was young like and so I didn't have a like earthly father figure for much of my life like the Lord is my father like I look at him and I say wow like the comfort that you feel from your dad I feel that from my God you know and I'm not saying that you don't feel from your dad I'm just saying you have an earthly father so like I can't imagine that like think of a kid getting lost somewhere and they can't find their parents how they feel to be separate from their parents it's for a young child because all they know is to be with their parents you know what I mean so like I can't even imagine I don't want to imagine thinking about it hurt my chest right now like I, I, I seriously am trying to